Hi guys, I'm going to show you what I picked up over the past two weeks. Uh, it's not quite as much stuff as I was getting when I had a job. Uh, I'm still looking for one, and when I get one, I'll let you guys know in the videos. Uh, I think they'll still be coming out as you know quick as they are now. I might you know make one extra video a week, so it'll amount to roughly two or three videos a week, if that. Because I've been really busy. So yeah, so, let's get started with the CDs, Alice in Chains, Jar of Flies, there you go, um, and this one is in really good condition, I got it for really cheap, three bucks, uh, to buy it used was going to be the price of a, you know, a regular CD, this is just an EP, <coughs> I used to own this, um, several months ago but I sold it for gas money but you have songs like Rotten Apple, Nutshell, I Stay Away, No Excuses, Well and Wasp, Don't Follow and Swing on This. It was released in 1993. There's the CD. Uh, the CD is in great shape too. Didn't have to change out the CD case of labels. Uh, there weren't Half Price Books is really nice about not putting a bunch of stickers all over your stuff. I don't really care about the sticker on the front, so I'll just stay there for now. Uh, great CD though, you can get it on vinyl as well, so that's cool. Uh, next is Tools Saliva CD. I did not get the DVD, I actually saw the VHS box, which didn't have the CD several months ago, probably a good five months ago, and I decided not to get the VHS version because it didn't have the CD, but now I'm wishing I kind of had, just for collector's sake. Because this set brand new, uh, the VHS is 400 and the DVD set is about $500 sealed, factory sealed. Um, used, it's about 40 bucks and it goes down from there. So I might just get a full, uh, the full box set uh, and it'll come with another CD, but oh well, you know. But anyways, the CD, here that is, and you get artwork. Or pictures from the four videos that are on the DVD uh, that originally came with this. All I got was the CD. That's all that was there, unfortunately. Uh, we have the songs are Third Eye Live, Part of Me Live, Push It Live, Message to Harry Manback 2, You Lied Live, Merkaba, No Quarter, and Lame. Uh, no Quarter and Lame are studio tracks. Uh, everything here has been mixed very, very well. I'll listen to the whole thing. For seven bucks or six bucks, I guess it was worth it, but the songs, or the films on the DVD are Sober, Prison Sex, Stink Fist, and Enema. That's, this was released in 2000. It was meant to be a stopgap between, um, Enema and, um, let's see there, um, uh, Bladder Alice, which I do have on vinyl. But neat collector's item. Sorry about that. Get it if you can. I don't see very many of those at bookstores or at stores in general. I saw them; they were brand new at uh, Sam Goody back in like 2000, 2001, or earlier. Anyways, wow, this floor is dirty. Um, next couple things are games. Uh, you got Road Rash 2 for the Sega Genesis. Uh, I have played this game on emulator, and it's a wonderful game. It's my second Road Rash game to own. The other one I have is Road Rash 3D for the PlayStation. Uh, interesting little tab there. I don't, I don't know. I don't use it when I pull the game out of the system, but made by Electronic Arts. And I'll go more into this when I actually review the entire Road Rash series in a video slideshow form. But excellent game. Pick that up. Uh, Next game I saw two copies of, decided to get one, and uh, I really almost decided against it, but I thought, you know what, might as well get it, and that game is Aladdin for the Sega Genesis. I played this game on the Super Nintendo back in the day, and what a great game, made by Virgin Games and Disney Interactive, or er, something like that, I can't read the print on there. But, unfortunately, I haven't been able to play either of these games, or any of my Genesis games, for that matter. They, the Genesis is not currently not working. 
for some reason. I don't know why. Hopefully that focuses. Um, this card is in it's in rough shape, but I hope that it works. And I'll go more into the detail on the Genesis 7 problems in another video. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.